This is me when I graduated from university. Graduating university represented a mixture of emotions. Firstly, I felt a sense of pride. As the first person in my family to complete higher education, I was living proof that focus, persistence, and hard work can truly pay off. I also felt a sense of relief that all that time that I'd spent preparing for exams and trying to find employment, I was finally able to secure a place on a graduate training program. Then it dawned on me. This was it. My time being a student was up, and I was about to become a young professional in the corporate world. No longer would I be able to hide behind my textbooks or be admired for achieving high grades. In the world of work, that would no longer matter anymore. I would be judged by a completely different set of standards. On my graduation day, formal education had ended, but the learning never stopped. In fact, the real learning began when I entered the multi-generational workforce. I am a proud member of the millennial generation. Millennials are people born between 1980 and the year 2000. As many of you may already know, millennials might be the most talked about generation of all times. But not all the comments made are particularly favorable. Time magazine refers to us as the me, me, me generation. We are described as self-centered, over-ambitious, and have an overwhelming sense of entitlement. Because we are highly educated, and from a young age, we're surrounded by technology, which meant that we were accustomed to having things faster, doing multiple things at once, and even having things done for us. During university, we are taught to challenge the status quo and vigorously defend our ideas and have a different set of beliefs and expectations about behavior in the workplace than previous generations. For myself, like many other recent graduates, entering the workplace as a group with the least amount of experience, starting out can be a struggle to gain credibility. Let's imagine two fictitious characters that both work in the same corporation, Tom and Eva. Everyone, I'd like you to meet Tom. Tom is a member of Gen X. He has worked in the company for over 30 years. He joined the firm in his teens after leaving secondary school with just a few O-levels and worked his way up from an entry-level position to become the senior managing director of the sales trading desk. Tom has a top-down management style when making decisions. He believes in working very long hours and he believes that company loyalty should be rewarded. So far, his approach has not been challenged by any of his direct reports. That is until Eva joined the firm. <laughs> Meet Eva. Like me, she too is a millennial. She has a degree and a master's from leading universities. Despite being a recent joiner of the firm, she is well connected throughout the company and has gained a lot of visibility. She is bold, she is opinionated, and she isn't afraid to speak up about her ideas. Unlike Tom, she believes that management style should be more inclusive. She expects flexible working hours and for performance to be rewarded, regardless of the amount of time spent working within the organization. Because of her confident attitude, her colleagues refer to her not as Eva, but as Eva, the diva. Tensions arise between Tom and Eva due to a lack of mutual understanding. Tom is frustrated because the connections that Eva has built in a short space of time took him many years to achieve. Eva is frustrated because the irregular feedback she receives and the lack of recognition for her efforts. Eva would like to progress quickly within the company. She constantly compares herself to her peers whose progress she tracks regularly on social media sites. Tom believes that Eva should be more focused on developing her work ethic and be less concerned about the speed of her career advancement. In his view, she should focus on gaining the maturity and life skills needed so that she can better cope with more responsibility in the future. 
Eva disagrees. <laughs> she feels that it's not worth pursuing a role within a company where her ideas and career growth prospects are limited and considers resigning. This situation highlights some of the intergenerational conflicts that may occur within the workplace. Clearly, there are differences between how Gen X and millennials think, but I have seen how both can learn from one another. As millennials, we are forward-thinking go-getters that tend to achieve what we set our sights on. At work, we bring technological knowledge, new ideas, and knowledge of how to utilize existing networks and grow new networks effectively. Even though we are passionate, motivated, and keen to learn, I recognize the wisdom and experience that older generations bring. I have learned my, a lot myself from working in a multi-generational workforce, both personally and professionally. Useful lessons that I have learned from Gen X include to be more patient. Life is a marathon, it is not a sprint. To view every challenge as an opportunity to learn and grow. And lastly, to try not to take things too personally. Essentially, I'm sure we'll all agree that regardless of our generational differences, we all want the same things. We all want the opportunity to be fairly compensated for our efforts to have a greater work-life balance and the opportunities to fulfill our potential. I believe that it is crucial for companies to create environments that are collaborative and inclusive, so all of us are encouraged to bring more of our hearts and our minds to the workplace. Companies can improve employee engagement through collaborative projects so that people with different expertise are encouraged to contribute by cross-training members of staff so that everyone is encouraged to learn from one another. And finally, by rewarding and recognizing valuable ideas. Let's face it, intergenerational conflicts are nothing new, and they certainly will not disappear in the future. I am sure that by the time I become a manager, I will most likely have different views about behavior in the workplace than the upcoming generation, Gen Z. Even now, I can hear myself saying, the kids these days are nothing like what I used to be when I was their age. <laughs> but the fact is, they shouldn't have to be. What matters most is the ability to understand different perspectives and leverage key talents. Because ultimately, these are the things that will determine the ability of companies to create environments where all workers, both young and old, can thrive. Thank you all for listening.